Welcome, everybody, to the uh, November Town Hall for SKL. This is going to be, um, there's a couple items on the table that we got to talk about, but for the most part, we're going into a holiday season. Um, so we're going to see a lot of people going on vacation, going on trips. And one of the key things with that is we're going to see a shift in the next town hall coming up um, just because it kicks right into the center of the holiday season that we're going to be doing it on instead in the January time frame. And it's going to be on the 2nd of January, which is the first Sunday of January. We're still going to be doing a town hall at the end of January, but the, um, the second will be the December edition as well as the New Year's edition of the town hall, which uh, will be hosted by either uh, one of the other Cerebrates, uh, possibly Prozan or anybody, but it's not going to be me, and that's going to be the second point of discussion that I'm going to talk about. Um, so I'm going to be taking a break. I've got quite a bit on my plate coming up in this short uh, short little bit, and I'm going to be going on to, um, as Prozan put it, low power mode. So what that means is essentially I'm not going to be doing any major um, not getting too deep in the weeds of any major decision making or anything at that point in time. Um, I'm going to be enjoying my vacation, but also I've got uh, quite a bit coming up uh, career-wise, and so I have to give that a lot of attention. But the beauty of the way SKL has been developed is that we have continuity in leadership. So uh, Kazdar is going to be taking um, any of the quick um, fastballs, returns that are required, but then we also have a very well robust uh, Cerebrate core that's going to be uh, also steering the ship. So you, largely you probably won't notice uh, any difference from the way business has been already. Uh, it's just you're going to see someone else heading the, at least the town hall for both January 2nd and January 30th. I'm going to be out of town for two months essentially, and so I won't be around. I haven't figured out if I'm going to be doing the February one because I'll be coming back literally the day prior. Um, so wait out on that. But what we have coming up at least in the next uh, month is we have a few events that are kicking off that was part of the Extra Life uh, charity event. One of those being the streamer event and the other being the Eternal Crusade. So the streamer event is going to be kicking off on the 5th, so this Saturday. Um, and it's also going to be the um, leapfrog into the Eternal Crusade, which is a series of platoons and events run by the elite leadership for the membership. I'll be starting the first iteration on um, the 5th, and then you'll see a steady rotation throughout the week during prime time um, between 6 to 9 Eastern, but you'll see folks probably coming on earlier and staying longer. And what does that mean? Well, it means that the brood lords, the swarm lords, and the hive lords can all take a break and just sit back while the elite leadership um, runs some fun platoons. You know, each each PL is going to have their own different way of events they want to do, but largely this is geared towards um, setting a good example, having fun, and trying to do different events and different uh, different little um, fun things. I'll say without giving up any any ideas. So that's going to occur between the 5th and the 12th. The I'm going to open it up and I'm going to close it out on the 12th. And then in between the week, uh, there's going to be various leadership. And there'll be an announcement that will be made um, each day when it starts officially. And then you can anticipate an invite as it will be rolled through and followed up on in-game um, by one of the hosts of that evening. Um, the key thing with the Eternal Crusade is it's largely going to be uh, drop in, drop out, but mostly geared towards just having a relaxed, um, less competitive, depending on the night, but less competitive event for folks just to kick back, grab a couple of brewskis, and just have fun for that week. So I'm excited for it. I think, I think we got um, a good opportunity here with uh, seeing different leadership jumping in and running the platoons, you know. Seeing some old how old goobers like me run platoons like we used to, and things like that. So I'm probably not doing very just very much justice because I'm a little tired today as well. Um, 
But that is going to be basically kicking off in the next week. Uh, follow on from that is we have some other events coming up. Uh, and we also have the content smash, which uh, shortly here I'm going to kick it over um, to Prozan. Um, but before I do, I'm actually not sticking around too long today. I have a confined dive tonight that I've got to do. So I am going to be largely um, AFK for the next little while here before the Eternal Crusade kicks off. Once the Eternal Crusade comes to a close, I'm going to be not officially on leave of Ems, but like low power. So any urgent requests, anything that has to happen, I'm going to be here for emergencies, but we have a, a, enough robust leadership that's going to be around that can take care of uh, anything that is that needs to be done. And I think that's really all I need to say on that. Uh, I won't get to too much specifics. So before I disappear and hand this off to Prozan, I did want to see if there's any questions from the crowd for me specifically um, on the year end and things that I, I didn't really cap off very well. I kind of want to do that on the 2nd of January. I'll, I'll probably pop by for um, a closing year end spiel. But um, is there any questions at all on what's been happening with SKL or anything? I'll just open it up. You can put your hand up in the uh, by clicking the town hall. You can. Uh, yeah, channel, you can click uh, the little short request. come up to speak or remember you be in the meeting text channel, text channel for question discussion. Okay, I'm going to take that as there's a, not a whole lot that is coming my way, which is actually a good thing. Um, oh, well, that's just because they have the ability to become on stage. Why aren't you on stage? That's my question to you. Yeah, stay in your cave games. <laughs> okay, folks. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep this going on too much longer. I'm going to hand it over to Prozan uh, to talk about the uh, content smash. Um, folks, if I don't get to see you during the Eternal Crusade and I don't get to see you over the break, I want you all to have a very good holiday season. Um, enjoy your time off if you have any time off. Um, if you get to send, spend time with family, take that absolute opportunity because what we've seen with the pandemic is we all don't know how much time we have with folks. Um, so take advantage of that. You will see me bopping in around, just chilling out, but I'm going to be largely um, ultra, ultra relaxed and kind of avoiding work in various capacities. But that's it for me, folks. So uh, I just want to thank everybody, though, for the work they've been doing for um, the outfit in the last year and the year plus, but largely, um, especially this year, the the things that we've achieved this year have been pretty damn special. And it, it's actually, it's exciting. But um, I look forward to next year and seeing what we can do, especially with a, a new continent coming out and some revived uh, love for Planetside. And we'll see what happens with that. So, all right, folks. It's, uh, I'm just rambling now. So, Prozan, floor is yours. Everyone else, have a good holiday season and take care. Sounds good. All right. Uh, how's my volume? Because Rage said I'm a little quiet. Loud and clear, brother. Okay. Cool, cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, we're going to go over just a couple of things before we get into the content smash. Uh, for some of the newer people, we haven't really been harping on this this much, but at the top of the Discord, there's a role in the Academy sign-up channel. At the top of that, there is a role request channel. Uh, if you react, or a role request post, if you react to that with either the Flash news or operations or developer news reactions, it will actually opt you into that role, which will let you see the operations pings or the flash news pings. Uh, the operations ping especially is important because we, our platoon or squad leads, usually put uh, an at operations up and daily operations to ping everyone interested in when platoons are going up. So please, if you're interested in any of our opt in pings, go for it because we try very hard not to at everyone or at here as much as possible. Yeah, what games put into the meeting text channel thing. And uh, briefly, before I go into the, the announcement, um, I just wanted to give everyone an update. Uh, Osher's coming out, presumably, at the end of December. Uh, the Armor and the Construction Academy teams have been meeting throughout the month of November, and I will expect 
that one or both of those academies will be launching with or just after Osher. So look forward to the Armor slash Construction Academy's launch around that time. If anyone is interested in helping with the Armor or Construction Academies, please DM me and we can work on getting you onto the team. We have uh, lots of people on both teams. And if anyone's interested in helping fly with the Air Academy, also send me a DM. All right. Yeah, Lord Gator. I, I, they say into December, so that's what I'm going to say, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when Osher is actually coming out. But, uh, all right, moving on to the, the big announcement. And, Poncho, you can go ahead and just you know make the channel ready and do the ping. But today we are officially announcing the beginning of a competition that we are calling Content Smash. SKL Content Smash. Uh, for simple verbiage, it is basically just going to be a talent show. The uh, If you all will look up at the top of the Discord under SKL News, you should be getting a ping out very shortly into the Content Smash channel. That post will just stay there for the, for the next couple months so people can look at it and reference it as much as they like. Let's do that. Yep, yeah, yeah, people are seeing it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just read from the first paragraph because this is the best way to, to describe it. Hello and welcome to SKL's Content Smash. Starting on November 28th today, you may submit your own original artwork or media relating to SKL to this outfit-wide competition. Write a short story or poem, record audio or video, or create digital or physical art. Uh, a full list of submissions, categories, and details are available below. Artwork will be accepted until December 26th, so you all basically have all the way up until December 26th. That's the submission deadline. Uh, at which point a panel of judges appointed by the Content Smash team will commence their judging. Winners will be announced on January 30th, so it's going to end on the 26th, and then we'll basically give a month for judging. And on the 30th, uh, you will be rewarded prizes from a $200 prize pool. And that $200 is just what we have right now. By January uh, 30th, it could be more. Uh, and it in includes the brand new $80 Fleet Admiral bundle as one of the grand prizes, as well as having your work immortalized in the SKL lore channel. So submit your work today. Everything below that is just basically our entry guidelines, our the, the submission categories, the judging criteria, and um, I'd just like to say special thanks to all the entire Content Smash team that helped me put this together. Uh, pro or yeah, me, <laughs> Vox, Poncho, Kura, Mike, is that uh, Deal and Alphandale couldn't have done it without them. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone takes the competition seriously uh feel free to just dm your submissions to the uh discord that has been added in the content smash channel it's, at, it's created specifically for this at skl receiving just dm them your art your your story your video whatever you like uh you have all the way up until the 26th we would prefer that entries for the competition be made specifically for the competition no plagiarism all that stuff you can go through the judging criteria and the entry guidelines if you need more details. But it's basically just uh, something that we that we wanted to put together to kind of give people an opportunity to express their more creative side rather than just going in game every day and knocking heads, even though that you know that is fun. And uh, yeah, and win some cool prizes in the meantime. And remember, whatever video or art or, or story or poem that you, you do, will be featured in the SKL Lore channel when it launches. So whoever the winner or winners of the competition will be, it, it will just be in that channel forever as part of SKL Lore. So that's pretty much all I had to say about Content Smash. If anyone has any uh, questions or uh, comments on the Content Smash itself, feel free to post it in Meeting Text channel or you know raise your hand to talk. But that's yeah, that's pretty much all I had for it. Just Kaz being Kaz. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. Who doesn't love Kazdar? <laughs> it's not that kind of giveaway, oh. Kazdar. It's a competition. <laughs> yeah, and uh, just, 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 I guess to be clear, the work needs to be SKL related. It does not have to be planet side related. So. Any fun little anecdotes you have, any anything that is SKL related will be accepted. Um, yeah, and, uh, poems will be fine. I originally conceived it as a writing competition and decided to just expand it to just all media. So 
just whatever you like. If you if you, if you have a creative bone in your body, apply it, and you can maybe win some prizes. Uh, you have until the twenty sixth. If no one has any pertinent comments or questions on this, I will move on to the next topic. Kaz, if you start that again, I will lock you in the sunderer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, the only other thing that I'm aware of, and some other people from Elite Command can correct me here, but I wanted to talk briefly about promotions. Um, we had the we have one Hive Lord promotion on Friday. Uh, today uh, at this town hall, we're not going to do any other promotions at this time. Uh, I think that December is probably the best month for activity in SKL uh, and just planet side in general. Uh, we usually have a ton of leaders on throughout uh, December. We usually have a, a ton of activity on the Discord. And I really think that we have so many good leads right now that I just kind of, we in the Officer Academy specifically really want to see what y'all can bring to the fore in this busy month. Uh, I, there's a lot of quality leads out there. We have several really good squad leads, a lot of really, really competent uh, platoon leads and um <laughs> poncho <laughs> and uh i think that this month by the end of this month we're probably going to see a lot of promotions as long as people just stay active and uh and really kind of bring their their a game especially uh post the eternal crusade week put us to, after the eternal crusade week happens put a, put us to shame and now there's a times new roman war going on in the meeting text channel Stop this. Let's see. Oh yeah, uh, Poncho, did you want to talk briefly about the the bot you're working on? The, the, I, I know uh, you mentioned it in Elite Command, but like the the brass text of it is that we are one of us in Elite Command is working on some kind of way to help with the lobby entrance because the uh, bot's been breaking on and off. Uh, so we are going to have a new bot put in place sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess I can talk a little bit about it. Thickly, it was Rage who started it, and the, his is going to be a little more feature complete. Right now, I'm just working on a bot to automate the onboarding process in lobby entrance. So right now, it was originally SKL start, SKL or SKL start other, and then go into DMs or whatnot. Right now, it's going to be a slash command, and then... Basically, you'll enter in your Planet Side 2 IGN, and then whether you're SKL or other to make it a little more foolproof. But besides that, there's not a whole lot of crazy stuff. I'm working on a couple extra loadout commands to quickly bring up loadouts, but that's about it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we got the bot handled. Everyone's still having their Times New Roman War and Meeting Text channel. I uh, I think that's about it. Uh, as as I kind of implied the other day uh, at, at the Hierarchy Seminar, and I'll reiterate today, I think SKL has been doing really good this year. Uh, we've had a lot of engagement, a lot of leaders coming up the ranks uh, quickly uh, and competently. And December is usually our best month, if not maybe our second best month. We're usually doing pretty good in the spring as well. So just make sure to kind of keep your A-games going, represent the community and SKL as best as you can. And if anyone has any just general questions or comments or wants to speak, now I think we can go into the q and A. I think I think we've covered pretty much everything we wanted to talk about. <clears throat> so we can uh, go. I've got a quick interjection real quick. Yeah, go ahead, Ty. All right, so uh, effective December 1st, I will be officially coming off leave, and I will begin working my way back into the academies and getting myself back up to speed. Uh, I have officially taken off my returning soon status. And on that same note, on December 4th, the Ghosts will be holding their first mass tryout. So anybody that's interested, send me a DM. We will be holding it on December 4th at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. That'll be all from me. Great. Sounds, sounds exciting. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know who the ghosts are, it was basically just a uh, a branch led by Tayashi that did a lot of infiltrator work and stuff like that. Feel free to DM him if you have any questions.